Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Engineering Escapades, and today I'd like to show you this. Uh, this is a microprofessor, and uh, you can see microprofessor uh, something something one. Now, um, this is uh, a computer uh, that is, I think it's made for education really, and it's using a Zlog set 80 instruction or Z log set 80 as a processor and therefore uses the Z log set 80 instruction set I think it comes with a basic interpreter but I'm not sure um, but I'm not going to be showing that in this video now I'm going to be showing this because I'd like to show you how assembly works now or how low level actually works and this is what we are going to be building not the exact same but something like this where we input an address then we uh, input some data into that address whether that be an instruction or just pure data or an address so here I have a program that loads the value decimal value 17 into A then loads the decimal value 25 into B adds B to A and then halts. So if we just input this program real quick, go to PC, we press data to input data and you see the dots are over here. If I press address, you can see that the dots are over here, but we are going to be inputting data. So that is 3E plus to go forward an address, minus to go back. Uh, so that is 17, no, not 17, I'm sorry. Uh, that is 1-1, one, one, I mean, uh, because the uh, decimal value 17 is 1-1 one, one in hexadecimal. So, at 0, 2, we put 0, 6. That means load B. Then the value we are loading into B is the value 1, 9. Then we do 8, 0 to add, and then 7, 6. Now, if we reset, go to PC, and then hit go, you can now see that the entire display is blank, and this red bulb is on. This means that it has halted, so the only way to get it back is either pull the power, that will lose the memory, or just press reset. Now, if we go to register A, we can see that it's been cleared as well. So, resetting, I believe, no, resetting won't fill it with garbage but halting and then resetting I think will fill it with garbage but you can see that our program is still fully intact so if we just go back to 1800 then step through it one instruction at a time and then we don't halt or we can as well do that step will just skip the halt instruction and that's a nice feature with this but if we now go into the A register and look at that we can see that it has the value 2A stored in it and some of you may already know what this equates to it's the decimal value 42 um, that's yeah that's a simple program that adds to 8-bit numbers uh, but let's take a look at a bit more advanced program now what I have here is um, you're gonna see actually um, so let's just pull that over here a bit. Let's go to, uh, let's reset, go to PC, and then uh, input this program right here. Data, that's 3E, 00, 06, 01, 4F, then 80, then 41, then C or C C three, then zero four, then one eight, and I believe that is the entire program three E zero 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 six zero one four F eight zero four one C three zero four one eight. Right, great. So if we just step through this, you maybe recognize these two first instructions at least. 3E00 means load A with the value 00. Um, 0601 means load B with the value 01. Now, here comes a new instruction, 4F. What this instruction means is load 
a into c, so load c with a. Then 8, 0, once again, add b to a. Then 4, 1, which is another one, it's another one of these load register with other register, which loads c into b. Then comes this instruction here, and this is a jump instruction, as you might see. Now, c3 means perform a jump instruction, and then 0, 4 is the lower order bits of the address, then comes 1, 8, which is the higher order. So this means jump to uh, 1804. So you see we go back to this load C with A. And some of you might already have recognized this algorithm. It is um, a, an algorithm that generates Fibonacci's numbers. Now if we just step through this uh, one time, we can see that we get to 41, then C3, and then when I press step once again, you'll see that we jumped back to 0, 4. And we are back at our first instruction in the algorithm. Now, if we take a look at the registers A, that is 0, 1 at A right now. Let's just grab a new post-it note here. Oh, that's fine. So let's see. Let, let me just write these down um, quickly. So that is 0, 1. And then at B and C, we see that we have 0, 0. Yeah, so that is 0 and 0. So let's go back to the program counter. Let's step through another time and then take a look at the registers. So A is still 1. And then B and C are both 1. Now let's go back, step through one more time, um, and then take a look at the registers. So that's 2, and that's 1, and that's 1. Step through 1, 2, 3, 4, and then registers A. So A is now 3, and B and C are both 2. So what's happening here, essentially, let me just simplify this a little bit. Um, so we have our three numbers, A, B, and C. Uh, we first set A to 0, B to 1, C to 0. We then set C to A. That is the first thing we do. Then we add B to A. And then we set B to C. Then we set C to A. Then we add B to A. Then we set B to C. Then we, add, then we set C to A. Then we add B to A. Then we set B to C. And this just keeps going on forever. So if we uh, reset, go to PC, and then hit go, I believe that will just go in an infinite loop until we reset it. Um, and that's not so interesting, of course. So, yeah. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. Um, I know it's not very much, but it's something at least. And uh, if you'd like to see me do more of this uh, assembly programming stuff on this uh, microprocessor, then do tell me. Um, like the video, subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of content, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.